So hi there everyone, got another double header again today, this time against Yuri, playing as part of Zandot Bell. The football team is not currently, so he's taking up the slack. So I'm going to punch the link, we'll see which side we are because we're going to swap over after the next game. So plus two random 90, we'll try and aim for 60 each, I start off as Zereds. He's here to join the thread. And our first hand, we can five year plan away Europe scoring, try and do some damage in Asia. I suspect that's probably for the best. I have very few high op cards for cooing, which is a bit of a bummer. So we'll open 441, we're holding independent red, so we'll pop one in Austria. I usually do anyway, but it's always worth pegging where independent reds is. So let's do that for starters. Plug in our hand. And the last card is that one. Okay. I see a couple of people are online, which is nice. Okay, let's see what Yuri is saying, and we will go from there. Yep, so I plan to not coup Italy. I plan to coup Iran. I'm going to five-year plan away Europe scoring. We're going to take some initial lousy two-op coups on Iran. We may even, if we're feeling daring, use the China card to coup Pakistan if he plays in there. We're looking to drop Asia scoring ideally for domination, if not one VP, which isn't great, but we'll live with it. But ditching Europe scoring is better because we don't have the uh, ops power for an Italy coup. So, just waiting on Yuri to set up. Feel free to ask questions and I'll do my best to pick up on them in the chat. I will probably repeat them for the record. Uh, so yeah, we'll play the doubleheader against Dero yesterday. Seems to be quite fun. Yuri <laughs> stayed in the room and helped out all game. Uh, it's unfortunate he won't be offering me the same thing today. Uh, I'll be seeing if I can overturn him on my own. So it turns out we've played a few games before. Um, I didn't know Yuri used to manage the BJ Rocket username. We played a couple of times in league games and cup games. So we've got a bit of history. He has um, outpipped me, I think, with this account. He's beat me once. Oh, no, wait, this is one. I lost twice against BJ Rocket, and I've picked up one win against uh, Partizan. I'm sure he'll address the balance today. Yesterday was uh, ridiculously good fortune on my side. So it's about time that the karmic balance were addressed. So, I suspect he will set up 442 or 433 if he's holding socialist governments. We'd rather him set up 442, because... We want to try and get a coup off on Iran. We are unfortunately a little light on ops this turn. We're going to event captured Nazi, obviously. Um, given the profile of the hand and our plan with the scoring cards, we're going to event it for the headline. We obviously, if we five-year plan away Europe, we either have to use the China card or event d style. So I'm going to want some extra ops to event d style early. I'm inclined to use the China card and hold D-Style to the next turn. Um, that's really the best option, because... Good. 442, that's what we wanted. We headline captured Nazi. And I get purged. Oh, glorious! Uh, 
Um, so, change of plan. We will drop Asia scoring for one VP. And we're still going to five-year plan away Europe scoring. Are we? The problem is it's now one op coup on Iran. So 50% of the time we do nothing and we need, a, we need a five or a six to clear him out. Ooh, glorious. All right, we'll drop Asia scoring for one VP. We're still going to get a coup off this turn. We want to get DEFCON down. We don't want to leave it up. But being purged makes our life a little harder. Uh, purge is... Uh, Middle East scoring is a preferable headline to purge for the USA, so I'm assuming he's not holding Middle East scoring this turn. But we'll still try and establish some presence there. But being purged is going to make our life very difficult this turn. So, let's see where he splashes around. Yep, fine. I still don't make him for Middle East scoring. We'll take the coup with independent reds ahead of um, Romanian abdication on Iran. And we're looking for a five. And <laughs> we got a one. Perfect. Uh... So NATO's dropped, Independent Reds is out of the deck. I mean, he won't be greedy. If he does happen to hold Middle East scoring, he will drop it. But given that we have no control ops-wise, we may... Just start cooing on Lebanon with one ops after one op. Ah, uh, you see, we can't five plan five year plan away Europe scoring without eventing D style first. I've only just come to the party there. So actually I need to ditch Europe scoring ASAP. <laughs> or event D style and then five year plan away. I have frustratingly low ops. And are having been purged to use D style effectively. Well, that's four ops at least. So we will, now that um, Independent Reds is gone, splash them around there. We are going to drop Europe scoring for zero. So we have the. Uh, will we? Coo coo. Event D style, five year plan away Europe. No, if, if we've now got the ops and we've decided we are going to discard away, let's have another corner run. Five would be great. A three is not good. Uh, he played Comic Con. We're basically hedging our bets. But I, I like five year planning away Europe. And we'll use one of the ops to take Iraq. Okay, so he'll coup on Egypt. We're hoping it whiffs. Oh, his doesn't. Great. So now, DEFCON is low. And we go one, and a two, and a one, and... A two for Thailand. Rather than adjacency to Algeria. Yep. Yeah. 
He plays into Thailand. Standard. Good thing Asia scored. Not removed, just discarded. So we are going to Event Europe scoring. And we're going to hold five year plan in case we can discard Middle East scoring next term. Slight change of plan. We'll put the op from Formosa resolution into Syria for presence, which he'd do well to break. And that way, if he doesn't break it and headlines Middle East scoring, we at least have presence, which is 3VP saved. But five, being able to five year plan away. Middle East scoring would be good. We're only in a bad way if we get dealt CIA. Overprotect. Just sharing the URI feed again for those in the room. So that was you an intervention without ditching a card. Whoopsie. Trying to event, uh, trying, found a shortcut button on my desktop I didn't want to play, uh, press. Uh, let's end that task. We do not want to be running that as well, or I'm going to blow up my computer. Sorry about that. Uh, right, so AR6, one op into Syria for presence. And we'll hold five-year plan in case we can burn Middle East scoring. So, let's hope I get dealt Middle East scoring. That goes off to space. NASA gets there. We're on to turn two. No CIA, no Middle East scoring. Korean, Arab, Israeli, Truman. Warsaw, East European. NATO, as a well. So, 50% of the time he's holding defectors. We could try and be sassy. An event duck and covers and see if we can get it defected. Um, I don't think he'll be in a hurry to headline Middle East scoring. He might be able to press for control. So if we're feeling smart, we could headline duck and cover and hope he gets defected. What else are we going to headline? Arab Israel's not going to work. Korea just gives away tempo at the DEF CON. Yeah, let's headline duck and cover and see if we can get it defected. Alas, at least he can't coup. <laughs> so he's got perfect information this turn, and it cost me 3 VP, but we got CIA out early. Um, we will... Make sure we're holding a battleground in the Middle East. Then we'll move into Afghanistan to threaten Pakistan. And then we're just going to start 
developing our South America profile. There we go. So we'll hold five-year plan through the next turn as well if Middle East scoring doesn't drop. If Middle East scoring does drop, we may five-year plan away Truman for maximum ops. If I can take Saudi and Middle East doesn't drop, I can, of course, try a coup on Iran to flip it. Um, Asia is, of course, not going swell. So it takes Pakistan. Overprotects against the China cards. Yeah, okay. So we'll take Saudi. Because we have the option of um, trying to level up there. We'll also now press on South Korea. We're unlikely to win the fight, the three on three battleground fight. Formos is active as well, so it's actually four on three. But we also don't just want to give away Korea. So use Arab Israel to put two in and then finish off. Decor goes to space. I'm fine with that going in turn two. I can see he's trying to race to the 2-0 square, which is fine in principle. But I'm genuinely happy to let him do that if it involves putting decol back in the deck. So we'll pop two more in South Korea. De Gaulle goes off as well. Mass is firing. So we are going to finish taking Korea. And we'll put one in Venezuela. Um, we'll be looking to event Korean War to get our mill ops. Which means as long as he's not holding Indo-Pakistani war, we can at least pick up our mill ops this turn. And having already taken Korea, we don't run the risk of offering it up on a platter. Plenty to ditch this turn. That'll be Suez. Yeah. Now what does he do with the op? India. Fine. So we'll event Korean war. For the mill ops, it succeeds, which means we get an extra 2 VP, which is always nice. And then we'll use Truman Doctrine um, and hold 5 year plan in the hopes of us being dealt an, a nasty scoring card. Yeah, so event Truman Doctrine first, nothing happens, and we will do what? another one in Argentina. So here's to hoping we get Middle East scoring and or Europe scoring in the reshuffle, although Asia is about to dominate as well. So not a great start to the war, but that's what a turn one purge achieves. Oh, well, he takes the influence rather than the Milops. That's fine by me, because we can ditch a bad scoring card and instead we get two of them. So we'll be looking to ditch Asia scoring and hope a successful coup on Libya flips the Middle East. Which makes our headline option, holding defectors, Fidel. So. He's holding Vietnam Revolts, Cambridge Five, Romanian Abdication, and Marshall Plan. Marshall Plan, Vietnam Revolts, Cambridge Five, Romanian Abdication. In the reshuffle, I picked up EU and NORAD. And Asia scoring. So yeah, Fidel's our headline. Uh, 
I would expect to see Marshall plan if he wants to trigger NATO and consolidate Europe. Duck and cover if he doesn't want to see a coup come off. If he does duck and cover, we can pump four into Israel in a bid to level up the Middle East. It's going to be expensive. We'll be looking to space NORAD. Hello to the watchers. The number's creeping up. Do ask questions. Yuri was a great help questioning my reasoning during the last games against uh, Aero. Obviously he's not around to help me this time. So, everyone can pitch in. I assume you can hear me okay. The levels are fine. So far no one has confirmed. <laughs> uh, yes, I can hear you and help. Otherwise I'm just talking to myself. Um, so yeah. The only card we know about that he might be likely to play is Marshall Plan, and he might think he's set up alright in Europe. So he may headline another card. He might purge me again. I remain in abdication. Fine. A nothing card for him. Just uh, clears it out of his hand. He knows D-Style's gone as well. So we will take a coup. And we're going to take it on Libya because we know that we don't have a way back in with Nasser and Sadat. We do all right, but not perfectly. He can use Marshall Plan to retake it. And now we're in a bad way in Asia and the Middle East. Oh, he's got a card of mine. He wants to do an intervention. Okay. So... It looks like we're going to be dropping the Middle East for an unsatisfactory scoreline. But we'll be five-year planning Asia for an even more unsatisfactory one. Yeah, we're not going to be able to race Middle East. One extra pip would have made all the difference. Sometimes that's the margin in this game. Yeah, thanks for confirming you can hear us. Bostier, Bostier. That's good to know. Um... It helps talking to yourself while you play, to be fair, because at least you're doing the kind of internal monologue rationalising, am I making the best play? But it's more fun when you know someone's able to talk back. Uh, when the voices talk back to you alone, you need to seek help. So at least we know we're not going to get completely reamed by playing Asia scoring. If he's got Europe scoring, we're in a hell of a bad way. Uh, we're going to space NORAD. We don't want to be triggering that. Um, we'll use Eastern European unrest and eat the ops loss. So we know we've got eight ops to play with this turn after the space of NORAD. So make sure there's three in each of these. Ideally, populate all of South America. Three here to protect, protect against Voice of America. So what do we got? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ops. Perfect. Job done. So unless he does anything monstrous, we'll send NORAD off to space. Succeed. So he can only space one card a turn. And we know of the four cards, he's got Marshall Plan, Vietnam Revolts, and Cambridge Five. We're not sure about the other one. Well, three mil ops. Not going to trigger. Interesting, he's gone with filling Panama rather than... Um, oh, look at that. Spend the op wisely. We'll put one in Angola to stop a three-op card splitting it. Flipping it, in fact, not just splitting it. And we now have complete information on his hand. He'll headline... He'll event Vietnam Revolts last, obviously. He can play Cambridge Five any time he likes now, because he knows I know what he is holding. So we are going to go into mid-war, unless he's got Indo-Pakistani war at minus one. That's four VP behind where you like to be, pass, pass score about minus five. And obviously with an unfavourable couple of scoring cards in Southeast Asia scoring and Europe scoring still in the deck. So to get back in the game competitively, we want to be scoring South America for ten if we can muster it. And obviously we can only do that if we dodge um, Junta 
etc. Oh, it won't be minus 1, it'll be 0, because I'm playing defectors. So I'm 5 VP worse than I thought. But at least we know we're, we're headline safe. Going into mid-war. So yeah, aims will be attempt to score Africa for domination. Score South America for presentless domination if we can manage. De Gaulle's still in the deck, so there's a chance we can split. Europe, uh, NATO's not in effect, so we can brush war Italy. So we've got some got some ways back into Europe, and we'll try and grab one of them if we can. And then really we want to dodge Junta. That's the big one. Junta and ABM brush war. If we can dodge as many of those as possible. Okay, so he's good. He's starting to worry about brush war. Sensible. We well, five year plan away. Asia scoring. Put a pip there. And let's see. What's he got to finish? Vietnam Revolts. We don't really want to give him Milops, so we won't play into Tunisia. Let's play into Malaysia to threaten Indonesia and make Southeast Asia scoring less favourable. We're not going to get a lot done in Europe. Well, though, actually, I'm going to put it in East Germany, which is paranoid, but I don't want to start running the risk of John Paul and, you know, Europe control kicking in. Let's not lose to Europe control. Oh, no, I can't because I've not put a third into... All right, so I'm going to be ops efficient in Africa. Well, no, because I don't want to get VOA'd. All right, if he does something crazy in Europe, I may be in trouble. But that's for the best. Asia scoring away. Uh, yes, Venezuela, thank you. Beoster. Uh, I saw it after you. Surprise, surprise. So he'll have envy and arm revolts. He may tap East Germany. Truman's gone, so it could be worse. Um, I expect he may just take Indonesia and prepare for a, a generous scoring there. Or he may move into Colombia, or he may move into Saharan states. Or both. Uh, threatens the realign in Cuba instead. Alright, let's see what we get in mid-war. Um, well, the Gaul's nice. Decal's great. Portuguese Empire, nice. Shutter diplomacy, we'll just event. It doesn't matter. We're, we're super dominated. We'll just eat that. But a coup and eventing arms race is nice. We may try and hold shuttle diplomacy, although we can't because of OAS. Uh, De Gaulle duck and cover. Might not be shabby. Costs 3 VP but converts France. Ah, it doesn't because he's put one extra one in France. So, uh, De Gaulle duck and cover and then an ops war might be fine. Let's plug my heart cards in. And De Gaulle and arms race. Cultural revolution. How well earned. Shuttle dip OAS. Decal. Portuguese. Um, De Gaulle still seems like the best headline here. We don't need to worry about defectors. Decal's good enough to event mid-turn anyway. Let's event De Gaulle. Let's try and get in on Europe. Alas, he got Junta. So, with DEFCON dropping, we'll use the China card to finish taking France. We'll be spacing away Duck and Cover this turn.
Well, at least we've resolved the Europe problem, but we're now not going to score generously. Oh, he's going for a rear line instead. <laughs> and I managed to dodge the first. Let's see if I can dodge the second. Nope. <laughs> okay. Interesting. We will keep hold of the China card then. And we'll offer an ops war on France. I'm just handing over VPs with duck and cover. Hand over fist. Might not be great. So I expect to see Central America scoring more likely than South America scoring, given the way that was played. Going for the ops war. We'll just stay one ahead. Because we have the China card and cultural diplomacy. We'll see how ops rich he is. <laughs> Extremely. Oh, man. Okie dokie. Okay, we'll try again with socialist governments later on and hope Europe scoring doesn't drop. I may have used the China card straight away there to keep fighting for longer, but it seems like there's an imbalance of ops. We will start by cooing Nicaragua and hoping to be able to play arms race for 3 VP. Man. Oh, well, <laughs> an ops war was never working. Okay, so we will event arms race. We're going to accept the fact that Central America is likely to be controlled and we may only get presents. Whew. Uh, Africa scoring drops before I can make some headway there. That's a bummer. It's not going to stop me eventing decolonization. But it's going to change the complexion of where I play it. So covers Thailand and Lao. Uh, we now have nothing better to do. Well, okay, we can coup Haiti and seek to deny domination temporarily. He'll just play back in or play into Mexico, which, you know, is control. And then we're going to finish the turn by tapping France. Because why not? So Mexico. So yeah, we'll finish the turn by tapping France. And hope that he's left himself no more four op cards to play after playing three earlier in the turn. Oh, that turned out all right. So still looking to bag South America scoring, which we didn't get dealt. So Arsenal is not playable, given the current state of affairs. I may try and space to then one small step to the 3VP square. I'm going to have to accept some entrance into South America. ABM's still in the deck. That's a bit of a bummer. Um, the headline is probably 
Muslim Revolution if we want to clean up a bit of there. But actually, it's not achieving a lot. Maybe we'll get grain sales here. Well, bearing in mind we're going to space Yasuri and it's zero VP. We're going to headline one small step. And we're going to keep our ops. Let's hope we don't get missile embed. My hand. Arsenal. OAS. Panama. Nixon and Yasuri. And Warsaw. I've already played one small step. Last card's Allende. Um, the downside of this means I then I now can't play. I can't attempt to space Nixon and then hand over the China card. I may still be playing the China card this turn anyway. Oh, he's going for something. Nice. Purge bear trap. Quite possibly. Right, with Deathcon 5, we have to watch out for France being realigned. So our first coup will be on Mexico. Big six, please. Uh, four. Yeah, so finish is taking France again. Oh no. Okay, so in that case, we're going to take France. I know it's not a uh, it's not an unscored region, but we want to try and lock it down. And we want to have the last coup as well. Uh, da -da -da -da, yeah. <laughs> he did get dealt a fistful of four op cards that turn, but that's the way it goes. I mean, I got dealt great cards in the last couple of games against Darrow. Got to ride the rough with the smooth. So the rest of this turn, I'm playing China, giving up 2 VP by playing Nixon, spacing Yasuri, eventing Panama Canal and seeking to prevent those from getting tapped, because I still want South American control, holding OAS and ask not till the next turn, because I don't want to allow him to ditch South America scoring with ask not, or lone gunman. So we want a coup exchange on one of the Americas, ideally, which I win in, hopefully, and we'll go from there. Given his lack of concern in South America so far, I'm guessing he's not holding it again this turn. I'm glad he used John Paul to play into Mexico, though, because, you know, Europe is incredibly weak. But given the current state of the game, my likeliest way of winning is either DEFCON through, if he spaces one more time, through either Ortega or Lone Gunman, getting a lucky South America scoring, dodging bad scoring cards and winning with war games. Those are really the two ways I'm likely to win this game. I'm not likely to win it in final. I'm less likely to lose through DEFCON now CIA's gone, but obviously I'm at the space point where I have to start eventing cards like VOA and Grain Sales, which is bad. Using the China card this turn may really put a dent in that. But, you know, hey, if I get if I get trapped and not purged, I might be able to ditch some of those. And I might be able to encourage him to play purge for a 4-op card, which is the idea. When someone salts for 4-op card and then plays it for ops, I feel like you've won there with salt. And I've won there as well. So we will use the China card 
to coup Mexico. And we get lucky. Uh, worst case scenario is now he drops South America scoring. Ugh. So we get 5 instead of 10, which is a bummer, but these things happen. We'll overprotect France, and we will pop... Well, we'll put one back in Argentina now. We'll overprotect East Germany as well. We want to try and run Europe out for as few VP as possible. I'm not entirely sure I'm playing great here because um, I'm playing in a lot of scored regions, which is usually a giveaway. Things aren't going great. Uh, we can now play Ars not. Worst case scenario, he's got lone gunmen. Uh, yep. We'll space you, Siri. We don't get there. Ross Cosmos have not been earning their wages. I'll be sending them to the Gulag. Uh, so, yep, South Africa goes. He gets there. So there'll be no headline peaking, and we're going to be racing for the 3vp square, which is the reason to hold us not. What do we think? Let's play into Costa Rica so we have adjacency to Panama. An AR7 will play our end and will hold us, not an OS. I'm expecting to see an AR7 or a headline bear trap. But at least we won't get purged. Going for Mexico. One time. So AR7, we will put one in Guatemala, which he's likely to coup. Mm, it's not great because it can swing domination, of course, as well. But he's got places to play in Central America to get domination. He'd rather cut me loose. So AR7 bear trap after the purge salt. No, he's going for it. Yeah, tap and play. Smart. So, bear trap headline potentially. We get Central America scoring. We can quagmire him. And we probably want to do that first in case he does have bear trap. Containment of Brezhnev. Eight cards. Central America scoring as well. Sorry, just putting them in the tracker. So. Just checking if Olympic Games has been played. I think it was during the Ops War for... Yeah, it was during the Ops War for France. So that's the tracker back up to date. Alright, so we're going to play Korgmar in case we get bear trapped. No, he goes grain sales instead, which was the other likely option. He gets containment. He may think about eventing it. He would be wrong. He should take the coup, especially on Mexico. And it fails. No, I'm good. We're not going to quite be able to get it this turn.
once he's out of the trap, we can then use Panama. We can flip Panama, right? Yeah, let's do that. And we're going to have to event OAS this turn. Oh god, and Colonial Rearguards. Wow. Oh, snap. When things are not good for you, they are not good for you. So we're going to get Central America off for domination now. He must be doing alright for cards though, if he's not... Oh boy. We'll try for space first. Oh, for goodness sake, we fail. Curses. We'll still drop Central America for domination. There we go. He's out. All's well that ends well, sort of. <laughs> um, so, we want to get Milops this turn. We want to repair damage from OAS. Knowing OAS, let's do some overprotecting there before OAS drops. We may not get Milops this turn. So I would expect to see puppet governments envelop Nigeria. We'll event and see what he does with the colonial rearguards ops. In a way, we have the advantage, in inverted commas, of being so far behind in Southeast Asia. Oof. So we will now use Colonial Rearguards to put one in Zaire ahead of him. And another one in Venezuela in anticipation of OAS. And we're just going to eat ops everywhere in Africa. We're still in a bad way here. The score line is um, flattering, shall we say. All it takes is a sympathetic reshuffle. If we get South America scoring, we're laughing. We'll event OAS first and seek to repair some of the damage. So we still haven't seen Bear Trap. That's really the only horrific card left in the deck. And then on the neutrals, ABM and Brush. Still unplayed. And Miss LMB. Goes big. Yeah, so he's going for the spear on Chile. We have to hope that we can get Argentina back. Um, so, Missile Envy to pluck ABM off him if he doesn't headline it. But he knows I'm holding Missile Envy, so he should headline ABM as a ward against it. And then the question is what we take off him instead. Uh, Africa scoring is gross. Uh, 
Another option is we will bury you, and then if he doesn't headline Missile MV, we then take it. What else have we got? Oh, Bear Trap, of course. That's another reason to play Missile MV. If he plays Bear Trap, we're taking ABM off him with Missile MV. So I got Alliance, he got Bear Trap. Camp David and Kitchen. Didn't get any of those, did I? No. Uh, he got ABM and Cuban. I got Brush War. Lads went, I wasn't paying attention. He's got Southeast Asia scoring, which he'll play, of course. And he's got Che. Oh, he's got Lone Gunman. Splendid. Did I get OPEC and Willy? Yeah. Right, so we know he's holding Lone Gunman, so we're absolutely not playing Ask Not. Ask Not is our space card. Okay. So Missile MV takes ABM, Cuban Missile Crisis, Che or Bear Trap. What's he going to headline? If he headline Bear Trap, we get ABM. If he headlines Cuban Missile Crisis, we get ABM but can't coup. But DEFCON's already dropped. If we if he headlines ABM and we missile MV him and he gives us Che, we get some Milops at least. Oof. Especially with the risk of defectors being redealt into his hand, because he's got one unknown card. Still like missile MV here. Knowing we've got Brush War as well. Let's go Miss LMB. Love a gamble. ABM. Yeah. So now he has to decide if he gives us um, Che, Cuban Missile Crisis against himself or Bear Trap and doesn't use it. Yeah, so he goes big on Africa. Okay, he gives us Che. So we are going to coup both of these and drop... Oh, no, wait, because DEFCON's three. We will do that. So that's now Africa for four instead. We're going to offer him a coup. With Missile MV. And then we'll use Brush War. And we'll use Brush War on Argentina if he doesn't realign us first. He wants to use Missile Envy to coup. If he doesn't, I have to coup. No, he goes realignment first, that's fine, because of, cause of Lone Gunman. Miss. Miss again, please. Good. So we get the coup, and he can't ditch Lone Gunman. Oh, boo. So he'll play back in. But we'll use Brush War on it. Camp David, ticking off the cards, play back in right, so be lucky, not lucky. Okay, that puts a pin in South America, them's the breaks, you win some, you lose some. So we are going to at least force him into playing his real line first.
If he's successful in his rear lines... Oh, well, okay. Paraguay? Yeah. Okay, we're lucky not to be trapped. Poof. What do we think? Let's try and get to space first. Oh, come on, Ross Cosmos. Ah, uh, no, of course, he'll be looking to hold Cuban Missile Crisis and Lone Gunman through the next turn. Uh, but he won't be able to, right? He's got three cards. Yeah, he's got three cards. He won't be able to. We'll do that to make it 2vp. Okay, things aren't great. DEFCON is likely to be our only way out of this now. War Games is well out of reach. We'll put two in, but I think uh, play deck's bugged, so it won't let me get it out. But, yeah. Oh, no, he's got decal. If play deck is bugged, that's very honourable of him. Um, one in Thailand, because we may be able to flip it, although shuttle diplomacy remains in effect. One in Nigeria, one in Algeria, and one in Zaire to make it more flippable. So we've left him holding on to Lone Gunman. If we can dodge defectors and we get Aldrich, we may still have a chance here. We don't get dealt any of those. Well, we get dealt defectors. So Grain Cells is unplayable. Duck and Cover is our space cards. Well, actually, Grain Cells isn't if we do nuclear subs AR6. Uh, if we use How I Learned to Stop Worrying, we can drop DEFCON to 2, get our mill ops, and play into South, in, into Argentina. We're kind of stuffed if he's got war games anyway. So, grain sales, nuclear subs. How I Learned, Portuguese. Muslim NORAD. Defectors and duck and cover. Let's invent how I learned. Drop DEFCON to two, take Argentina, try and space duck and cover to get the VP first. Try to avoid war games, but we probably won't. He's got Junta. Alas. Goes for the coup. Comes up trumps. We'll make DEFCON 3 and go for the big fat coup on Argentina. Hooray! Now the downside is that we're going to get controlled in Central America. So still looking to dodge war games and then play him with either Ortega or Lone Gunman. Uh, 
Oh, come on. So we repair South America and we eat Central America if it scores. I say based on Jinta it's going to. And if he's got war games, we're boned. Cooing Uruguay. Yep. Succeeds. It's 2 2. Let's not worry about it just yet. Come on. Finally. That's the time you need Ross Cosmos to step up. Oh, and now he can discard a Hell card. So Lone Gunman's out of the woods. Such is life. Uh, where does us best right now? That's only one battleground. In a scored region. Ugh. Tell you what, now we're re nearing the end of the game. Let's cover ourselves against tear down this wall. We are not winning this game, I do not believe. I think we are in a hell of a state. Uh, so yeah, we're hoping... We're going to hold the China card. If he ditches Lone Gunman this turn, we're hoping we get Aldrich and he gets dealt Ortega next turn. Quite the parlay now to try and get a win. But, say la vie. Oh, Star Warsing asked not to ditch Lone Gunman, even better. Has he got Ortega too? No. Lone Gunman and Summit, right. So Star Wars goes. In fact, I didn't even realise it was turn 8, because I got dealt a handful of turn 7 cards. Summit goes, Lone Gunman goes. He can now ditch Ortega if he was dealt it back. We'll keep piling it on Europe. Thank you. Tea delivery. Much appreciated. Um, let's see what he got redealt. Well, at least he can't score it for ops. Uh, for VP. Uh, one in Japan. Two in Canada, yes. Preparing for NORAD. Alright, we're going to event Willy to bag a VP in to break Germany. He'll repair. We're going to use nuclear subs AR7 and hope that he's got a scoring card to drop or generally doesn't have a plan. Overprotect. Yeah. We'll put one more in Argentina because that's the coup target he really wants. And if it does flip, I'm definitely stuffed in South America. I know I'm holding grain sales. I have to live with that. I'll probably get more DEFCON droppers next turn. But yeah, Aldrich plus him holding Ortega is... You know, that's my last gambit. I don't need to worry too much about me committing DEFCON suicide because I'm also going to lose in final scoring. No, he's not going for the coup. Okay. Ditch is Warsaw Pact. I can live with that. Let's see what we get in turn 9. 
Uh, two hostile scoring cards. So I'll be looking to get a coup off. Headline Iran Iraq and hope for the one in three flip. Which makes Middle East scoring less unpalatable. Then I can coup Central America to deny control. Holding grain sales again. Didn't get terrorism. Didn't get Aldrich. Don't have a snowman's chance in hell of winning. But we'll keep plugging away. And Latin American debt crisis. Uh, I may event that. Since South America is a stronghold, I want to try and retain. But we'll start with the runner rock. Because if we do get a successful flip, we can then focus on... Yeah, Marshall Plan's fine at this point. He's denying domination, but he's not actively frigging with... I mean, if he put one more in France, he could have then nor added it. Come on, Iran. Be good to me. Boom. Yay! Coup on Mexico. Yay! Oh, that makes both of those scoring cards slightly less disgusting. Um, as played, I still lose in final. It's getting closer. So we'll drop Central America and Middle East. Is US Japan gone? No. If we see US Japan go, we might make a stab for leveling up Asia. Oh, boo. Okay, so we might get the double terrorism next turn. Let's drop Central America for 2vp. Chances are he's holding terrorism if he's willing to play Iran hostage crisis. We'll hold Middle East to near the end of the turn in case he puts a foot wrong. Of course, with Ortega, even with the discard held card, I can event Latin American debt crisis and he has to then refuse... to discard if he is holding Ortega. Oh, he's got the 2VP ABM, followed by NORAD. So will Argentina come? Yeah. Alas. Not good enough for him. I bag another 2VP, and I can retake it. So that's nice. We use Solidarity ahead of John Paul. If we get terrorism, we hold grain sales and play the China card. So, we might be able to take this to turn 10. Okay. What do we think? Let's just use Sadat right now to overprotect Nigeria. Because we don't want to concede control. Yeah, the uh, so um, Careless Gamer eighty four said good start to that turn. Yes, couldn't have gone better. <laughs> I'll take you when I can get it. Um, I'm still more or less toast. I think I'm going to event Latin American debt crisis and see how he responds. If he responds in the negative, we know he holds Ortega and he'll discard it. If he does discard a card, then we're still in with a sniff. If we get terrorism or Aldrich and he gets to Ortega in the last turn of the game, we might get him. He would do well to event Assyria if he has it to steal the China card at some point. Okay. So, let's take two out of Libya. He'll repair. 
but Middle East won't score for domination. So we're lucky we held out there, because I think that now means we can ditch Middle East cheaper. Oh, we can't. Da -da 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 -da. But we can. Level up. We'll event Latin American debt crisis. AR6. So he's going to tap Syria, Iraq, Saudi. Would be sensible. I'm telegraphing very strongly. I hold Middle East scoring. Oh, brilliant. Looking for 4VP. He gets it. NASA has been absolutely en fuego this game. But we ditched Middle East scoring for 1VP. So it's a bit of a wash. Our last big push will be trying to convert Asia domination, but we're sufficiently far behind in VPs that we are unlikely to win this game. So he's looking for some free VPs. Oh, well, he forgot about flower power. He doesn't get it, so that's good. And we'll event Latin American debt crisis and hope to either shorten his hand or double up in Argentina and probably Chile to overprotect. What does he discard? We didn't see because of the animation. NATO. Okay. So we're still in with a sniff here, folks. We're still in with a sniff. Let's get Aldrich or Terrorism in the shuffle. We got Terrorism and Aldrich. So what do we think? Um, we will bury using the discard pile, isn't it? Yeah. So I think if we headline Cal, we give 2VP, but we drop DEFCON. So if he plays Ortega in the headline, he loses. We can then event Aldrich to see if he has it. And if he doesn't have it, we were probably losing anyway. We've at least got you an intervention to get rid of grain sales. Is there another route to victory? Yeah, Jan. Uh, that is a great time to see those cards. So, is there another route to victory? Is the key question. Given the scoreline, Africa's going to go for domination. Asia's very, very likely to go for domination. I'm unlikely to dom dominate Europe. I can control South America, just about. I think, I think we're at the point of hoping... There are 16 cards left in the deck, so if one of them isn't or if one of them isn't Ortega, then we're laughing. Uh, so I got Aldrich. Let's plug it in. Pershing. Cambridge five. Uh, Olympic Games and Cal. I think we have to go down the Defcon route even with Lone Gunman gone. And at least if we headline Cal, we stop him ditching Ortega on the turn. Yeah, I think th Careless Gamer agrees. I think Cal's the only option. I think we're realistic enough to know we're not going to win this in final, right? Zero or domination. Likely domination. Likely domination. Likely control because of this, potentially. We're lucky if we get control here, and this is likely to go off as one. And, of course, eventing Cal means they don't get the NORAD op. Let's do it. Okay, so he tries to clear me out. France is still safe. So we're probably going to eat that as well. We're going to look at his hand with Aldrich, and if he's got war games, we'll pluck that out. No Ortega. That's a good game, then. We did our best. Didn't deserve to win. He got off to a very strong start. Um, it would have been rather churlish. Reagan, Iran, Suez. Uh, so we'll take Asia off him. And he can score Europe domination slash control. Uh, 
Yeah, so we're toast. Um, what do we got? We can try and race on Japan to level it up. We've still got double terrorism to go, so he's right. The game's not over, over. Um, because of double terrorism, I will at least get AR 6 7. So let's do that now. Uh, a friendly card. No swears, no swears. Oh, run contra, okay. So he's now forced to play. He'll have 3, 4, 5. So I'll get two back to back ARs to convert a fairly hopeless position. So let's see. Um, Uh, so let's do a quick count now while we can. He's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So I can break Europe for Dom. But I can't break Asia domination, Africa domination, or Central America. So let's now get a coup on Colombia to start putting the wind up in there. So he's still got Suez, which is going to kick in against him. Counter coup. Doesn't matter then. So we'll now use Pershing in Europe. Oh, yeah. No, uh, we won't use Pershing. We're going to use Pershing for ops then because... Uh, well, likely ops, because it's unlikely to do enough. So he's going to get Suez next. So what do we want to do? We want to... Coup on Sudan to then... Try and deny Africa domination. All right, so here we are, our last gambit. I didn't think we'd win by final scoring, and I still think it's unlikely, but we'll run the numbers. So, as things stand, with two action rounds left to play, that brings it to zero. So he is up two, eight, 14. And I've got the China card, so 13 VP swing we need. If we remove Africa, domination, that drops to 3. And then if we break Europe, yeah, I, th I don't think we're going to do it. So if we get Europe domination... That's a 4VP swing our way, and that's a 3V. So 7VP swing. What would that be? 5 minus 3 is 2. That's 0. Okay, so what if we coup Africa with Pershing? 
Then use the China cards to get Middle East domination and Europe domination. It seems like our biggest margin is deny domination here, gain it here and here. So let's start doing stuff and undoing it to see where it where it puts us. So that would give us sixteen against his fourteen, fifteen, including the China card. Yeah, we just can't get far enough ahead in Asia, can we? Asia domination's gonna gonna be the thing that that kills us off. Uh, well, so someone said I have to get a good good roll on the Pershing coup in Cameroon. Cameroon is only a one stab country, so a one still reduces Cameroon to one. So actually, a two, three, four, five, or six will stop Africa domination with Pershing. So that's all right. I agree Asia's... I think Asia is going to be our death knell here. As things stand... 8, 13, 16, 6, 9, 11 back. 12 back with the China card. 4, yeah. He's going to win by about 5 VP. Yeah, these are both bigger swings than you than breaking Central America domination. And again, breaking Central America domination there actually turns that to a one in our favour, doesn't it? So that's a, they're both three VP swings. So actually, we, maybe we give up on Africa. Maybe the key is to take Central America and Central America, Europe, and the Middle East. Yeah, that one op's doing nothing for us, isn't it? One, two, uh, five, three. Oh, so maybe we can do both. Oh, no, wait. Four, yeah. So using the China card, AR7, if we break Africa and Europe, we're going to get one in Central America. Yep. So one, nine. Oh no wait, we've not done the Middle East. Curses. We can't do everything. Such is life. We're one op short, aren't we? If we'd had one more op we could have broken Africa as well as broken the Middle East. And then it's starting to look better. So as things currently stand, duh, 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 one, one, nine. Let's say we let's say we leave Africa and we break Middle East and Europe. One, nine, twelve, seventeen versus twelve for a five VP swing. Not enough. If Middle East and Central America are both 3 VP swings. Right, one more one more perm and then we'll go from there. If we do that and we do that and leave the Middle East. AR7 break Europe. We'll get 5 6 14 versus 9 again it's 5 VP. We're one op short. If we'd had the extra op, let's hypothesize. We get the 3vp as well. It goes 3, 0, 5, 6, 14, 8. We still don't win. Yeah.
All right. We've got no other gambit I haven't seen, right? Yeah, well, I mean, it was it wasn't really close. I was lucky, right? So three ARs in the quagmire and having AR6 and 7 to myself has made this game closer than it appears. The only way I was really going to win in late war was hitting him with Ortega, and that didn't happen. If Ortega had been in his hand, I would have had a nice unjust victory here. Uh, <laughs> but instead, I don't. So let's put a pin in this. Um, if I'm going to use this just to break Europe, I might as well event Pershing to get an extra VP on top. Not enough. A good game. Well played. A fair victory. And we're going to have another match. Oh yeah, so the first part of the game, I evented Korkmaier and he got stuck in for three ARs. So I managed to turn... Central America control for him into domination for me. All right, so we're starting another game in eight minutes. So feel free to have a comfort break. Uh, I'll end this one. Um, I'll keep the stream running. And I will keep recording because we're only an hour and a half in. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I know, right? Well, so... It does suck when you're stuck in the trap three action rounds, but three action rounds is the limit of what I would consider to be swingy. Three times in is one in 27. So you usually get out on the first one in three. So one in three, one in three is one in nine for two ARs, one in 27 for three ARs. Then it's one in 81 for four action rounds. So I think if you're stuck in for four ARs, you can really start to bewail your luck. But I think one in 27 is still often enough. That's 4% of the time that it's, annoying but still a big enough probability that you can't be like this never happens uh, but it's on the cusp for sure so we're starting again in seven minutes um, we'll reset my card tracker and we will wait for another invitation to come and yeah happy to keep talking I'm not going anywhere uh, he did bear trap me, and I... No, he didn't, actually. Sorry. Um, he did stop to drop neutral cards on the second discard of being in the trap. Yeah, so it's just his cards were right. He dropped a neutral two op before Suez. He didn't bear trap me. He was holding it, and he ended up playing it for ops in a bid to ops war for South America. So I got lucky not to be bear trapped, because who knows, I might have been in it for three or more. Haha. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have another game. Um, starting in five, and then that'll be us for the evening. Um, hopefully that was relatively enjoyable. I still think it was closer than it appeared. The only way I was winning there was by Aldrich revealing Ortega. Um, and it was fun to have a wee fight at the end there. But I was just too far behind on the board. Um, which was fairly inevitable. I don't think some of my play earlier on... You know, I was lucky not to get realigned out of Mexico. Which made Central America competitive towards the end. So yeah, good fun game. Um, right, that means I'm back down below 1800, right? Yeah, 1791. Uh, I'm not too worried about my rating, which is exactly why I've got a game in my window with a 1400s player. They're happy to learn. I'm happy to play and teach insofar as I can. I'm not a teacher. I'm only an intermediate player. Just uh, I've played a fair bit now. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all in the game. 
Um, so I'll be playing as the USA in the reciprocal game. Um, let's hope that we get off to a stronger start as Yuri did. An old turn one purge. That was fun. Uh, I was playing from behind most of the game. Um, a lucky scoring round followed by war games or death con victory were likely to be my only ways out. Um, but it's always fun to fight to the end. You never never know what you'll see. That's why I never forfeit. You know, I wouldn't have been in the position at turn 10 to Aldrich and then double terrorism and have an AR6 and AR7 on my own, which I've never had as the USSR. So it's fun to see how things pan out. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a fun game. There's a lot of nuance to it. So yeah, on my other Twitch feed, I play Magic the Gathering on Arena badly. Uh, I used to play 20 years ago as a teenager, so I've just started picking up the online version. Um, I'm I'm a very casual player, so I'm super, super weak at that. But it's fun. Another game. Something else to try. Uh, I used to play poker back in the day. So, you know, anything involving cards and probability seems to attract me, whether it's Magic, Twilight Struggle, Poker. And it's the magic combination of skill and chance that is so appealing. So we'll see when Yuri pops back, and we'll kick up another. Got that one through in an hour and a half, so that was actually a 45 minute game. Cool. Careless Game is also a casual Magic player, that's good. Um, yeah man, I used to play, so this will age me, when I was a teenager I started playing when Mirage block was around, so Ice Age, Mirage, um, into Stronghold, Tempest. That era of magic was when I first played it. So no, I don't have any alpha cards <laughs> that are worth any money. <laughs> That's life. Um, but it's a fun game. Um, yeah. I used to play Diplomacy as well, but that's a game of pure skill, and my negotiation skills aren't that strong. I think I've realised that, that things I really love in games are cards, probability, draft elements. So I like Seven Wonders, which has card drafting in. Yeah, everyone wishes they had some alpha. Uh, if I mortgage the house, I could buy a Black Lotus. <laughs> but I'm not going to. Uh, I think I prefer having a house. And I'm never going to be a seriously competitive player, you know. Um, having stuff on the restricted list seems like an unpleasant way of spending money. Um, yeah, friends do split up playing Diplomacy. Careless Gamer, for sure. It's a jo The joke is the fastest way to lose a friendship. Show them how to play Diplomacy. Uh, I play online when I played. So I played Diplomacy, and then someone on the Diplomacy website said, has anyone heard of Twilight Struggle? So I actually migrated back this way. Needed more chance in my life. But PlayDiplomacy.com is good. Has long timelines for um, giving orders. You can play with people. You're just sending messages instead of talking to them in a corridor. Um, it's a lot of fun. I'm just, I'm just not that good... At the negotiating, I definitely lack the skill set for what moves are optimal, and timing of stabbing and being stabbed, I never really got either. So, Diplomacy just didn't do it for me. Um, Twilight Struggle was definitely the sweet spot, and I've had more success with Twilight Struggle, and I enjoy it more. So, such is life. Um, right, one more minute, Yuri will be back, we'll kick up another. Thanks for your patience, and for me wittering. Someone has literally just left the Twitch feed as I say that. They've had enough of my prattle. <laughs> they may be going to see Yuri's feed for the next game, in which case I will just quickly share that in the feed as well. I've never played 1960. Uh, never played 13 Days. There's an awful lot of games I haven't played. Um, so yeah, lots out there. Just before we start the next game, a reminder, Yuri is at that YouTube link to watch. <laughs> yeah, well, if you enjoy the prattle, that's good. I appreciate it, Jen. I do talk a lot. <laughs> Tippy tap. So yeah, I've just shared the link again to yours. It'll be for the YouTube people watching post live. I'll link the channel in, my, in the comments after the game. Um, so yeah, we'll be USA this time. So, you know, the usual mandate, whether the storm of early war Make sure the steamroller doesn't get going. Try and avoid being dominated. Try and score it if you can, but if you can't, avoid domination at best. Tough it out till final. That'll be my, my game plan. If things run well, I'll change it up. 
but as the USA, you just have to exercise patience. So Yuri should be back in the room. I'll drop him an email to say, feel free to start up the next game. Let's have a look. i tell you what, I can add him, right? And sort of... Zan.bell. He's now the 1800s player. Ooh la la. Great game. Uh, me as USA. Him as USSR. And it's a 90 with optionals. There we go. Da -da -da. That's all that. Let's wait for him to accept it. And we will get rolling with game two. Here we, here we go. Um, so, let's see what our opening hand is. We've got Captured Nazi, we've got Containment, we've got Decol and Suez. Uh, we'll open 442 because we don't have Socialist Governments. We've got Ops to play with. We would event Containment if we're likely to gain 5 Ops this turn. Are we? 1, 2, 3, 4, and an event. And so we're not likely to get enough from Containment to merit playing it. Uh, capture Nazi, because we want to event Captured Nazi. Suez. Decol. Special Relationship. And NORAD. So the rule... The rule of thumb with containment is if you think you're going to get five extra ops from playing it, because you've got to spend three to cast it. Cast it, that's me talking about magic. Um, if you're going to spend three ops to event it, you want to get your money's worth. Now I'm going to get one extra with five year, one with special, one with NORAD, one with Suez, but that's it, because NATO's already a four-op card. I want to event captured Nazi. So instead I'm going to event captured Nazi. 442. And if I get purged, I can always waste an AR event in containment. Uh, it's not actually a waste. If I do get purged, eventing containment is a good idea. Okay, he drops Europe scoring for zero. Can live with that. So I don't need to worry about being purged. I would event containment because I don't want to be in a position where I get blockaded, have to ditch NATO, event Suez, and event Decor because I can't space it. So, off to a good start. Goodish. Kill on Iran first. He's not got a 4-op card, which is good news. But he still gets a very strong coup off. Oof. Uh, so we'll keep our powder dry in the Middle East. What do we think? No, we'll use 3-ops. push into Thailand. We want to uh, make sure we have presence in the Middle East. If we played into Lebanon with our other op there, it just gives him a cheap call on Lebanon for presenceless domination. Yes, I promise I will stop talking about uh, magic now we're back in this game. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to confuse everyone. So he's likely to coup on Egypt, but then we can have the final say. Although, of course, d style into Thailand is nasty for us there, but he doesn't have a lot of ops to splash around there. We'll be looking to hold decol through next turn. Oh, he gets the final coup with the old duck and cover. No. Okay, well that turned out bad for him. I think. It's a good way of trying to get access, though. Respect there. Strong gamble. But we'll have the last say. And if he does d style into Thailand, then at least we've managed to force him away from putting him in places he actually wants. So 5 or a 6 is good here, but it's the best place to coup at DEFCON 3. And we get a 5. Oh, <laughs> Youch. Strong start. Um, we'll be putting 2 in Thailand and 1 in Lebanon. At least he didn't purge me. Ooh, what do we like, actually? Do we want to put 3 in Pakistan? Press Asia? 
Yeah, worst case scenario, we get Indo-Pakistani ward here. Middle East scoring drops out. Okay, so we got greedy in Asia there, and it cost us, because... Uh... But let's keep plugging away. Start running up Asia. AR5, AR6. Okay, so we're not... We're going to leave one op in India, so if Pakistan flips, we have access. But we're not going to fill India, because then a 1 in 3 flip on India blocks us off. And knowing we hold decol, we need to protect against Vietnam revolts, but that's about it. So yeah, getting greedy in Asia there cost us. Such is life. Can't make all the right decisions all the time. Glad I did um, play into Egypt. Otherwise he would have scored Middle East for 4vp. Where it go? South Korea. Yep, that's fine. That's fairly standard. Okay, with Europe scored, what do we think about eventing Suez and using the ops in Asia rather than going off to space because we've already hit the two square? Uh, we need to make sure we play in, back into Israel or Libya to make sure we don't get completely cut out. So if we, with Suez, play into Lebanon to make sure we keep, keep access. We're going to be one short to do some magic in. All right, if we do that, right, let's let's sacrifice short-term gain in the Middle East for protection in Asia. We're going to do that. Then we're going to use special relationship to take India and Burma and make them six bombs against um, Indo-Pakistani war. Now, we're running into a bit of trouble there, because obviously NASA, cooing Egypt, etc. gives us a, a heck of a tough time. Oh, it's nice with Formosa being invented as well. But we're looking to we're looking to really do some damage in Asia, knowing that the other scoring cards have gone. We get Asia scoring, and we've got five. So, mm, da, 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 da. only a D-style headline can screw with Asia. Oh man, we're holding blockade because we don't have any three op cards, so we have to space decal and event the rest. So only D star stops Asia scoring domination here, and he's only going to headline D star if he's also holding defectors. Decal Vietnam independent NASA Indo Pakistani war in Asia. What have I missed? NASA. Come on, come on. Oh, also, another good reason to play Asia scoring is if he's got the Cambridge 5. It does, you're right. Jan says, obviously, um, if he goes into Asia, he needs to go Lao, Vietnam, Indonesia with three of his four D star ops. And honestly, that's a dream for him to waste D-style that way. So he's unlikely to. He's likely to give up Asia and press the board elsewhere. So what do we got? What am I missing from my card tracker? Independent Reds? No. Decal blockade. Fidel? Yeah, Fidel. Seven cards. Alright, yep. So we'll headline Asia scoring. Hopefully we'll play Cambridge 5. Yes! Perfect. Okay. Uh, 
let's not be too overexcited about the scoreline. You know, big corn Egypt here still gives me access troubles in the Middle East. Um, D style's still in the deck. We're hoping to space decal so we can also space Fidel. Vietnam at the end of the turn. We have to event Nasser so we'll push into Libya, assuming he doesn't coup Egypt right now. He may go for Panama before I move into Costa Rica. And Europe obviously has scored, but hangs in the balance if he events to Gaul. And he's got all the ops this turn, right? There's still Test Ban, US, Japan, Marshall Plan still in the deck. So a lot of four-op cards we are not holding. Um, we are definitely ops poor for the turn. Two, four, five, seven, nine, because we're spacing decal. So that's about four-ish ops below where we'd hope to be in early war. Egypt rather than Panama. Yeah, it hits. So, such is life. Um... Let's focus on the fundamentals. What do we want to do first? Let's play NASA and go to France. Uh, actually, we don't have any three op cards. Going into France is a waste of time because if events to go, it goes back to zero, one, and we can only get to two, one, and then any of the four op cards flip it. So I think we don't make an incentive for De Gaulle to be played sooner than it has to be. God, Socialist Governments is still to come out too. Nasty. Um, so. We know we're holding blockade. I think we just end up spacing decal here. A bland action round. We succeed though, so we can now space Fidel as well. Oh, 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 oh. If he plays CIA now, I've mistimed things. I should have evented Fidel in case he's holding CIA. That was silly. But we dodge a bullet. Ah, tippy tap. We will use independent... Oh, no, 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 no. Like, I'm, I am going to event Fidel. I know that some people don't like doing it because you're basically giving away free access. But if he doesn't play D-style, I want a disincentive for him. If he had CIA in his hand now, he would have played it last turn anyway. Nespar, you say, and you're probably right. Um, but let's work on the assumption that we can give him a way to lose with CIA, right? If he takes France with a 4-op card, there it is. He's using Marshall Plan to do it, so at least we can take Turkey, Greece, Portugal and deny him domination. Boop, and a 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 boop. And we want one more 3-ops. But I'll tell you what, with Truman still to come, we're going to go into Finland, because if we Truman him out of Finland, we might get a VP for adjacency. So, we will take Portugal and Greece to cover Brush War and deny him any attempt at domination later on. We're going to finish the turn with Vietnam Revolts breaking Iraq to level up the Middle East and also to make sure if he coups Iran we don't lose all Middle East access entirely, which would be bad. And we hold blockade through to the next turn. We event into Pakistani War to get the Milops. We event it on India. Ui, he had De Gaulle anyway. So what does he get up to? One in France, two in Algeria. So he gets to Algeria first. That's fine, fine, fine. What do we want? We're going to use NASA and play into Costa Rica because now he's in Cuba. If he does coup Panama, we don't want to end up in a situation where we've got no access and concede control. So now he's walked into Algeria. You are correct for those who say eventing Fidel was wrong. He was unlikely to hold CIA because he would have played it AR1, 2, AR2, uh, etc. But there you go. 
benefit of hindsight. And I'm not a good player, I'm an okay player. So, <laughs> right, Romanian abdication, one in France, just massively overprotecting. We will now event Indo-Pakistani war for the Milops. And a bonus 2 VP. Nice. And then we'll event Vietnam Revolts AR7, and we will tap Iraq. Arab Israeli war. Is he going to tap Iraq? Yeah, tapping Iran might have been better, because then it would have denied me presence. But that's the only way we're going to get access, so that's what we're going to do. Asia scoring does not return. Duck and cover does. We can ditch D style to blockade. Truman's not going to do anything. We can space decal. We've got ops this turn. He knows we're holding defectors. So he may use that against us. He's got nuclear test ban. And you an intervention. He's got CIA, but he'll use you an intervention on it. Bummer. Come on, he's, he's got socialist governments as well. And Korean War. And East European unrest. So I think, if I've not missed any cards, he's holding nuclear test ban, socialist governments, Korean War, East European unrest, UN intervention, and CIA created. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm probably being modest saying average. I am definitely... I think... People who talk about the Glico system on uh, on Playdeck say that, as a general rule, you're looking at um, 1700 being like strong intermediate and 1800 Glico being weak expert, and I'm on that cusp. Uh, I think I'd like to call myself a weak expert because that allows my British modesty at the same time as a minor humble brag. Um, just in case he, he gets sassy and thinks I'll, I'll I'll headline CIA in the hopes he defectors it, um, we're going to event duck and cover. He doesn't know I've got duck and cover because it was played in early war. So this drops DEFCON, gets us three VPs, and puts him in the position where he may make an error with CIA, which he's unlikely to. Because, you know, the, the cautious move is to event UN intervention on it. So what cards did I get otherwise? Cambridge 5. Yeah, Socialist Governments is a much smarter headline. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Cambridge 5, Truman Defectors, US Japan, Decol. Decol came back as well. That's lucky. Uh, yeah, so I can't complain about getting Decol and D-Style and being at currently at 15 VP. That's unlikely to last. But I can at least repair Europe before he scores it for domination. So. We'll be going into mid-war in pretty good shape. As things as things bear out. Um, again, that's probably overly modest. So he'll move into Portugal. And retaking it. He probably should have put one in Turkey to make my life a little harder. He's got a JC, so we'll take one out of Finland. We're going to use US Japan. We're going to play there in case special relationship triggers. And then because it's 3-3 and I'm using US Japan, he's got the China card still. Maybe I don't want to use US Japan yet. Yeah, okay, so I'll hedge my bets for now. That's enough to deny domination. We're going to play slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. If he keeps tapping, I've got outlets to continually deny domination. If I get an opportunity to tap him and use Truman, that would be hilarious. It's unlikely to happen. Middle East scoring drops for Dom, so that's good timing cards for him. But, you know, minus five is par, and we're going to be going in well above that. So he's got five cards left, and we know he's got nuclear test ban, Korean War, UN intervention, and CIA created, yeah? So, given Formosa's in play, 
and he's got the China card, and we want to we want to try and stop South Korea becoming 0-5. Let's do that, which isn't developing the board elsewhere, but if we get another two ops into Japan, it's a 1-6 in six on flipping South Korea, which is a lot... It's, I'd much rather it be 1-4 than 0-5. And it's an unscored area, so at least I can stay true to my roots. We're running out of ops, though, because we're blockading away D-style, spacing decoy. We've only got four ops left this turn. But we'll be going into mid-war in decent shape. Special race ship doesn't trigger, that's unfortunate. So we are going to finish off taking Japan. That means US-Japan is a free play later in the game. And we're going to be okay in terms of domination in Asia. But now when he events Korean War, he's got a lot less going. What did he play? Special relationship, right. So we now know his hand. It's face up. He's got nuclear test ban, which he's holding on to. We're now not going to be able to tap either of those. So UNI on CIA. Yep. Okay, overprotect there. Can live with that. So we space decal. And we get there. Oh, NASA's been good. Yep. Well, at least now it's one in six. Miss, miss, miss. Misses. Perfect timing. Uh, he's going to get his mill ops, but he's not flipping South Korea. It was We filled those at the right time. Good old benefit of hindsight again. So what are we going to do with our one op of blockade? Let's play into Saudi so we don't get cleared out by Muslim Revolution entirely. Because at the moment, Iran Iraq can get very easily cleared out. So Blockade goes to D-Style, and he keeps Nuclear Test Ban for his last action round. Very good. It's good to keep as many ops as possible till the end. Oh man, I can't track cards for Toffee, can I? Where did he go? Three into Benelux for Domination. Okay. So we uh, put one in uh, Canada, eh? In case NORAD triggers. Alright, so we're plus 11. We've got Junta, so we can drop DEFCOM. We don't have access to South America unless we use Junta to go into Central America. But given the DEFCON situation, we want to play Junta first and get the coup on Cuba. That's not a bad hand. As things go, we'll space to goal. If we can score Central America for domination, that's great. We don't want to score it for control. Yeah, no, saved an op by miscounting the cards. Truman dropped. So, add the middle cards. Central America. Junta. And the neutrals. One small step and how I learned. Well, at least I've got one small step. It means he's not catching up anytime soon in space. So we want to try and get to the headline peaking square. Uh, we've got De Gaulle and Brezhnev from his side. And then from my side, I've got independent camp and nuclear. All right, so the headline's Junta. If he drops DEFCON, we just try and even realign on um, Cuba. So we win either way. Um, because of the access to Venezuela through US cards, I'm inclined to drop the two in Chile or Argentina. The problem with Argentina is it's a brush war target, but at the moment Italy is a stronger brush war target for him anyway. So, no mad rush there. Uh, I'm reticent to play into Yugoslavia because Warsaw Pact hasn't dropped yet, and he might just boot me straight back out, but there we go. Anyway, let's go Junta. ABM. Let's see where he attacks first. I suppose Thailand is a soft spot. But I'm still close to dominating there. He may just play Ops because he knows I can drop DEFCON if he coos. 
but he may just coup. Ooh, snazzy! Okay, we'll go Argentina. We will coup on Cuba to drop DEFCON. We fail, unsurprisingly. It's a big ask. If he... Now CIA's gone. If he plays into Angola, we can event nuclear subs and just go mad. Um, we do want a space to go. We don't want to get greedy and say, oh, let's just give up on France and use the op somewhere else. But we want to... Oh, he's got brush war. Will he go Italy or Argentina? Argentina for access? Oh, he misses. That's lucky for me. Because obviously I was thinking about playing into Chile, which denies brush war, but... There we go. Can't help it if I'm lucky. Right, so to protect against... Let's hold on to one small step for now. At some point we're going to play this turn. Uh, but then we might want that for Milops. Blah, blah, blah. Independent Reds first. To protect against Liberation Theology, we are playing into Mexico. We'll then play into Panama and Costa Rica to try and get domination, since we're holding it. That's good for me. I'm happy to see that drop, frankly. One VP is fine. I mean, it could be better if I'd have splashed around a bit more. The brush... Uh... What do you think about him brush warring Thailand? He won't. He'll. That'll make his scoring card better. I think the brush war on Thailand, given what he held, was better, unless he's also holding South America scoring. Let's put one in Nicaragua and start a coup war there, because that keeps him busy out of Africa, and I'll try and hold nuclear subs through to the next term. We may be able to encourage him just to put one in Haiti, thinking that'll level it up. No, it goes for the coup war. Oh well. Buh, 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 buh. Let's. Uh, Camp David's good for access, isn't it? What do we think? Yeah, I'm so greedy. All right. Let's do that instead. We may still get a coup off. We need the mill ops. We may still use Camp David to coup Nicaragua. So, Haiti to level up? No, no, Africa, fine. So, we will now score Central America for domination. And we're looking to hold nuclear subs through the next turn. So, he's looking for a 1 in 6. 5 again. The dice gods are not smiling on him this game. So what do we think? We want to. We may want to event Camp David. We get to headline peak. Well done, NASA. So the headline peaking is going to come very much in handy. Ooh, you got there first. Fails. Harsh. Um, we'll AR7 coup Nicaragua for our Milops. And then we're looking for a favourable scoring card. Asia to win, avoid getting flushed out of Argentina. Something like that. I don't think we're likely to finish the game immediately. Is that Lone Gunman? Oh man. Harsh. He is, uh, he's not rubbed up against it, has he? Okay, so we will make sure we get Milops for the turn. Nicaragua's the only option. We don't quite get there. Asia scoring, please. Nope. But we do get grain sales. Sadly, 
he's protected very well, but it does protect Argentina. Um, we're lucky to hold Quagmire. That'll be our space card. But Grain is inevitably the headline. And we get to peak, which is nice. Grain, John Paul, Quag to space. If he missile envies us, of course. Oh no, we give him flower power, that's good. Whew. Missile Envy is not a bad... No, Missile Envy is a bad headline, actually. Sorry, because I'll see it and I can do something about it. What else have I got? Flower Power, Portuguese. Nixon. And my 8th and ninth. So, lads, lads, lads. But I'll be dropping DEFCON, so no problem there. Sedat. Nice. Never happy to see a 1-op card. And Panama Canal. Okay, we're in pretty good shape with those cards. Even the one-op cards do something for us, which is always a blessing. Key headlines, lads, lads, lads. And I will drop grain sales on him. Boop. Yes, please. Ha! Always good to shorten his hand, even if it's trash. We are looking for a miracle. Uh, other scored options. Let's do Libya instead. A six is nice there. Nope. Oh well. So summit drops. If I just ugh. Yeah, I think Purge is still in the deck. Yeah. Sorry. S new laptop. Yeah, the Summit trade is kind of blech, but you always want to shorten their hand. There are very few occasions. You might return something like OAS, knowing it's clogging up their hand. But, you know, as a rule, shortening their hand is what you want to do. We want a Space Quagmire. I mean, ideally, assuming he doesn't have a good scoring card... To end the game. Okay, so we've got things we need to do first. So to end the game in inverted commas, um, if he plays the China card and we get a good space and Nixon, the game is over. What we want to do first is event John Paul. Because that frigs with Europe immediately. He'll refill it, and then we have to do some stuff to deny domination there. And then we want to event nuclear subs before he gets to Zaire so he can't do the spear on. So. Mm, do we want to event foul power and run the risk of getting quagmired? Yeah, because we can ditch Portuguese Empire crumbles to it. So that's Europe dealt with. And we now want to invent nuclear subs and go on a mad coup war. Which is, again, a bummer with the cards we have, because we actually want to be eventing these one-op cards here and there to do us some favours. And we want to hold on to Nixon as, soon as, as long as possible in case we get the magic space plus Nixon for 20. Uh, not first Panama and Flower Power South America. I, the problem is the tempo one, right? He's he's saying I hold Europe scoring and I want to do some damage, and we have to take him relatively seriously in Europe. So if we play the Panama thing, you're right. I suppose uh, the problem is he's had the tempo first. If we can rest the tempo back, we can say, look, we're about to do stuff in South America, and you can't get away from it. Uh, in which case, do we want to do that now? Mm, yeah, let's do Panama now. If he now does Cameroon Sahara State, I think we event nuclear subs and... Uh, I think... I don't know. I'm letting Africa run away from me here. Uh, but yeah, the question is, who has the tempo and who doesn't, right? A lot of the time. And I felt like he had the tempo. He's just lost it by not managing to space. So what do we think? 
I'm going to space Quagmire before I get Missile Invid. I think that's not fun for me. So, let's space Quagmire. We get there. Oh, man. It has absolutely all gone our way. Kind of disgusting. But, yeah, I'll take it. Let's see if he gets desperate and plays the China card. He does not. Very wise. Yep. It happens. We will... Do we event nuclear subs now and have two coups? Yes. Have you got Africa scoring? If you do, play it now. For eight, not bad. He's not got it. So we're going to use Portuguese Empire Crumbles first, because we want to hold Nixon a moment. Zaire's nice. We'll still get a coup off. Will he walk into Nigeria? Unlikely, because it's basically presenting. He's unlikely to use the China card now he's just played... Cultural Diplomacy as well. Cultural Revolution, sorry. Cultural Diplomacy is a card on the Saito site. <laughs> uh, going for the realign, but Norad triggers. He gets there. Well done, him. So now we have the benefit of Norad kicking in as well. Let's hope for a big roll here. We get it. Oh, man. It has absolutely all gone our way. It's disgusting. Uh, so we have got neither scoring card that wins it for us, and no way to score VPs. Harsh. We have got Colonial Rear Guards. We have got to see his headline, so we could even Defcon drop with We Will Bury You. Sadly, if we'd have held Nixon, we could have evented Yusiri to take the China card and score 2 VP for the 20. So, South African Unrest. Uh, do we drop Africa scoring for 4 VP? I think we probably do, right? Before he can get control. Because he won't be able to finish taking Angola. Yeah, we can't compete. He'll get the coup in Argentina in doing so. But there's no way we are getting off to 20 VP before he can start to climb back. I'm guessing he's holding Asia scoring, if he's saying that. But I'm not being... I'm not going to be GG'd into changing my way of thinking. If he plays South African Unrest and gets a good core for Angola, he can score Presenceless Africa Control. So that's a 7 VP swing headlining Africa scoring right now. So, I'm holding Europe scoring, which I want to drop for one. I need to plug in the rest of my hand. He's played South African Unrest. I got Yasuri. NATO. Still holding Sadat. Romania, Colonial. So, Argentina. Oh, no, of course, Venezuela is better. Um... Ooh. Shall we go for domination in Europe? Or close to it. If he's got Warsaw Pact, I look like a schmuck. But it's a lark, isn't it?
And if he doesn't have it, I'm sitting pretty. Let's give it a blast. No guts, no glory. Yeah, he uses the China card, that's wise. Oh. Okay. We'll finish taking it. He's got South America scoring, he drops for one in his favour, but we're going to get Europe in our favour, and we are going to score it before he plays Warsaw Pact. Oh, 19, of course. Great. If he's got Asia scoring as well, he's toast, and I suspect he probably was by saying good game earlier. Oh, no, OPEC scores him a, a boatload. Four. Not bad. He's still in the hunt. Uh, we're going to hold We Will Bury You to see if we can coax him into missile envying us. So let's see. Uh, buh, buh, we'll put one there to avoid being realigned out. And we'll put one there. Uh, no, we'll put another one in Angola because we've got Zaire as well. One, two, three, four. And really that's just setting us up for later in the, the match. So in our bid for Europe, we kind of wasted South America, but that's not a big problem. Oh, we've got, um, ask not. That's nice. Oh, okay. I think he's had enough. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for watching. Uh, so, one apiece. Hope it was fun watching. <laughs> okay, good game. It most definitely is. Uh, I suspect he was holding Asia scoring. Let's ask. Uh, oh, yay! I go back to being a weak expert instead of a strong intermediate. Uh, so, anyway, let's talk about I would have ditched Romania, We Will Bury You, and Liberation Theology in the hopes of um, cycling through for um, Asia scoring if he didn't hold it. But if this is him saying he did, yeah. So, there will be some talking through of how the things went, but the cards definitely fell my way. He was definitely screwed. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's two games. We will call it a night there. A night where he is, anyway. Um, so, Fjandrik said, Who cares about Africa at this point? No need to risk nuclear subs on an overwhelming winning position. Nuclear subs isn't a risk because CIA's in the discard pile, so I'm not likely to find a way of encouraging him to, to defcon it. But I agree, you're right, I could have used the two nuclear subs to play into Brazil, and that forces the agenda more as well. So that is definitely another line, and a line I didn't think about, because I was hung up on Africa. Um, so thank you to Boss Deer, Careless Gamer, Jan, um, Fianturic, and I think that's everyone who chimed in on my Twitch feed. It's much appreciated. It's genuinely nice to have people talking about the play, either during or after, for alternative lines, and also just to kind of justify my action.
So, uh, I'll call the recording there and I'll start uploading to YouTube. Um, I'll hang around the Twitch feed for five minutes or so in case anyone has anything they'd like to chat about. But otherwise, thank you for the two hours and 20 minutes of recording. Hopefully it was entertaining watching. It was great fun to play. Uh, and